interesting concept. Okay, who are we next? Um, yep, thanks, Courtney. How can we develop more desire for more self-responsibility? Um, yeah, I think there's a bit of a misunderstanding in the question. Can you see it? Self-responsibility yes. is desire <laughs> Yep. <laughs> for awareness, truth, love and understanding and so forth. So the way to develop it is to go, okay, what's stopping me from having a desire for these things? Right. So what's stopping you from having a desire for all self-awareness, for example? What's stopping you to have a desire to seek truth? What's stopping you for a desire to what's stopping your desire to love? You know, what's stopping you from owning your expression of your will? Why do you give away your will rather than rather than expressing your will? Why is it, you know, what's stopping you from having attitudes, actions, tensions, thoughts in harmony with God's principles? What's stopping you? Right? So one of the first things I would do is address what's stopping me. Right? Now you can see straight away that addictions are stopping you, you can see fears are stopping you, but also there's desires out of harmony with love that stop you as well. Right? So you can see that addressing those is going to have a large effect on what you finish up doing in that regard. In that regard. So look at what's stopping you there. The second thing is to examine your nature. That means you have to get to know you. You have to discover you properly. You have to get to know you and understand what it is that you really want to do with your life. What is going to bring you the most joy? And, and what, is it, uh, what part of your character and nature is it? See, at the moment, most of us have a very suppressed nature. And for yourself, where you've got a mother like you've had and still have in your life, um, She's suppressing your nature to a large degree. So, so you're going to have to work through that so that you can start to feel what is my nature rather than what is mummy, what does mum want me to do? Does that make sense? Now I've got two parts of the equation sorted. I've got the nature part where I know what I really like, what makes me come alive. And on the second part, I'm taking this self-responsibility, this desire to seek love and seek truth and be self-aware. I'm now taking that. Now I'm really doing that. Now the third part of the equation is development. Remember that word, development? Mm. Okay. How can I develop in love? Well, how do I do that? I do that by receiving God's love. That's the fastest way to develop in love. So, so let's look at my relationship with God focus on receiving love from God and that's going to help me also with the other two things receiving love from God will help me discover my nature it will also help me to be more and more desirous of truth and more self responsible and so so seek this love from God and as I'm doing those three things together what will happen I'll discover who I am I'll discover that I'm self responsible I now have these desires and I'll also discover I've got some development and in the pro process of that, I'm able to communicate with God and God's able to communicate with me and say, Courtney, this is what I want you to do for me. Do you want to do it? And you'll go, by that stage, you'll be going, damn it, that is just what I was thinking I should do. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> like, you know, you, you, you know that's, that's exactly what you wanted him to say you, you wanted to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so, and, you'll, and therefore, you'll want to do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. as a result. So that's what I would do. Thank it's you. Good question, though. Um, your question number two as well. Thank you. Why do humans often not find joy in self-care? Well, yeah, this is an interesting question, right? In terms of why don't we don't don't we enjoy self-care? I feel there's a lot of addictive reasons surrounding our definition of love that causes us to not enjoy self-care. For many of us. We don't care for ourselves because we think it's an act of love when somebody else cares for us. So we sort of have this warped definition of love that says, you caring for me, so like David caring for me, hello David, caring, you caring for me means you love me. And then if I badly need to feel loved and, I'm not, and I don't love myself, I'll go, I need you to care for me so that I feel loved. Mm -hmm. right? So now what am I doing? It's, it's in my interest under those circumstances, not, not, got, not real interest, but I'm saying addictively, it's in my interest that he cares for me because then I feel all gooey and love. Oh, he loves me. You know what I mean? But it's actually out of harmony with God's definition of love. So, so the main reasons why we don't enjoy self-care 
is because our viewpoints of love have been distorted, particularly in our childhood. Uh, this has happened, obviously, where we start to see these concepts of if someone sacrifices themselves for me, then they love me. Not I do everything I need, but rather they do, they give away something they need for me, then they love me. You know, we have all these distorted concepts of love that cause us then to resist self responsibility. We start rejecting self responsibility. We start walking away from it then. And, and the problem with that is that we will then never find any joy either because we're actually not self responsible. And true self responsibility creates joy in our life. Yeah, so it's an interesting. But there are literally thousands of emotional injuries. <laughs> that can potentially cause us to not desire the care of ourselves.